वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर्टीन डैश फोर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन इनर्जी मेथड्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द टॉर्जनल स्ट्रेन इनर्जी इन ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील शॉफ्ट द शॉफ्ट हैज अ रेडियस ऑफ थर्टी मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय टॉर्क ऑफ थ्री किलो न्यूटन एंड फोर किलो न्यूटन एट वेरियस लोकेशन so this is 0.5 meter 0.5 meter and 0.5 meter this end is fixed so due to this torque you have to find the torsional strain energy so let's start with the solution so we know that strain energy strain energy due to torque due to torque can be represented as U I due to torque or torsion will be equal to sum of T square into L divided by G two times G J where T is torque L is length G is modulus of rigidity rigidity and J is polar moment of inertia and you can see that at various section the torque is changed. so in this section the torque will be different in this section the torque will be different and in this section torque will be different so we will take some of all this strain energy due to this torque now we will name this point let this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is point d so what we will do is that first when you will section it bet between this length ab and draw the free body diagram so this short will be like this clear this will be the axis and you can see this is shaft ab so there is no torque in shaft a along the length of shaft ab so torque tab will be equal to zero so i will write it tab is equal to zero now when you cut it uh, along the length bc and draw the free body diagram so for bc the short will be like this if i draw it like this so this is point a this is let point b and you can see that point b you have a counter clockwise torque this is 3 kilo newton into meter and this is the axis so in order to balance it we will have a clockwise torque and this clockwise torque will be equal to tbc and this tbc will be equal to 3 kilo newton but that will be in clockwise direction so net torque in uh, in portion bc is 3 kilo newton now the last thing is that when you section it at cd in portion cd and draw the free body diagram so for cd if i draw it again clear so this will be like this okay so this is your point a this is your point b where you have a counter clockwise torque 3 kilo newton into meter this is your point c where you have a a clockwise torque which is 4 kilo newton into meter and this is the axis so in section cd the net torque will be 3 which is counter clockwise plus 4 which is 3 minus 4 is minus 1 so there is a counter clockwise uh, this there is a clockwise torque in order to balance it we should give it counter clockwise to balance it and this torque tcd will be equal to 1 kilo newton into meter and opposite to the net effect of these two this is 3 kilo newton and this is 4 so net is 1 kilo newton clockwise and it should be counter clockwise so tcd is this one now you have all these torques so you can just put it in this formula so ui due to torsion will be equal to T A B square into length of A B divided by since the material is same and diameter is same so G J plus T B C square into length of B C 
divided by 2 okay there is a 2 so 2 times gj plus tcd square into length cd divided by 2gj now you can take 1 over 2g as common from this so 1 over 2g j is common and we can put the value tab is 0 and length of ab is 0 0.5 so 0 square into 0 0.5 plus tbc is 3 kilonewton so 3 into 10 to the power 3 whole square into length of bc so bc is again you can see this is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus TCD is 1 kilonewton so 1 into 10 to the power 3 whole square into LCD is also 0 0.5 meter okay this will give you strain energy due to torsion and this strain this energy will be stored in the material in the form of work done okay so when you solve this again this term this whole term divided by 2 will give you 2.5 into 10 is to power 6 divided by g into j. Now g is modulus of rigidity and it can be obtained from the book mechanical property at the end of book available for A36 steel. So again you can see here that we have A36 steel clear. So modulus of elasticity G is 75 giga Pascal. So you can put this value G is 75 giga Pascal, which is equal to 75 into 10 to the power 9 Pascal. And J is polar moment of inertia for circular rod. It should be it it, it must be equal to pi by 4 pi by 2 c power 4 where c is the radius and you can see the radius is given as 0 0.03 meter so pi by 2 0 0.03 power 4 so you can just put these values in this so 2.5 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 75 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by pi by 2 0 0.03 power and when you solve this you will get strain torsional strain energy which comes out to be 26.2 newton into meter and we know that this newton into meter is equal to joules so 26.2 joule so this is the strain energy due to torsion or you can see torsional strain energy due to given loading and this energy will be stored in the object and that was all about this problem 14-4 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon and share my videos with your friends and help me in growing my channel if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching and supporting me.